Hello friends, hi and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk a little bit about a few points that I think would be helpful to focus on as you are adding new things to your wardrobe in this year of 2022 so that hopefully you'll start off next year with a wardrobe that is at an even better and stronger point than the one you started out with in this year. And if you are here for the first time, hello, my name is Naya and this is my channel where I talk about my own curated wardrobe and the thought process that goes into it and adding new things to it. So if that is your thing, consider subscribing to my channel. And first and foremost, the reason that I think that it is so important to have some things to keep in mind as you're adding new things to your wardrobe is if you're doing so purely on impulse with not a lot of direction. We don't necessarily really know where we are actually going with our style and we can end up with a lot of pieces that we never really truly find joy in or that we want to wear consistently. So with all that said, the first thing I think we best keep in mind as we're adding new things to our wardrobe this year is to buy the things that you already have a proof of concept of wearing. Basically adding some of the things that you already know that you will wear because you already do. You can take a look inside your wardrobe and take a look at the key pieces within it. You know, the items that you truly do appreciate and actually wear and ask yourself what it is about them that makes them so wearable to you. Is it the color? Is it the texture? Is it a particular style? Or is it more like the function it successfully serves? Assessing what items and what it is about those items that work for you and taking that into account as you're adding new things to your wardrobe this year can make a big difference. Now this doesn't mean that I think you shouldn't be experimenting with new styles at all this year. Experiment is part of the fun and also part of evolving your style but it does mean that if you are really looking to up your style this year adding a few well assessed quality versions of the type of pieces you already know works for you it gives you more truly wearable items uh, to pick from within your wardrobe as you grow your key piece collection. And so the next thing I think we could focus on to better our style this year is where our basics are coming from. Chances are that you already know of a few basics that really works for you personally and that you like to reach for, whether that is a t-shirt, tank tops, uh, button-ups, turtlenecks, whatever it is your personal basics are. This year you could focus on making sure that you find these items in better quality the next time you need them. It is so easy to pop into your nearest fast fashion store for your basics because it is both cheap and super accessible, but in my experience with these fast fashion basics, they tend not to last all that long the majority of the time either by quite literally falling apart or by a shift in color or a shift in texture or the amount of pilling this year making sure you find your personally most worn and beloved basics in a longer lasting and better quality means that your wardrobe is likely going to subtly look a bit better overall but it also means spending less time and uh, money long term looking for and buying that same item over and over again long term every time you need it. I consider a button-up shirt one of my own personal most important basics so this year I'm going to be focusing even more than I already have on where these come from so that I make sure that I am adding pieces that both look better but also that will uh, last within my wardrobe even longer. I really feel like if I buy something in a better quality, even if it's something as simple as a white shirt, it will just subtly look better than its 
fast fashion counterpart and if not the first time of wear then surely it will on the 10th time of wear and sort of this whole point I've made now does bring me a little bit to the next thing I think we could be focusing on this year and it is to avoid fast fashion as much as possible or at the very least just starting to be more mindful of when you do. And right now, I'm not even thinking in terms of sustainability or the environment. I'm literally just speaking about the benefit to you and your wardrobe. A few years ago, I started developing a little bit of a shopping addiction and I quickly turned to fast fashion to be able to keep up with my habit. And after about a year, a year and a half of doing so, I realized pretty quickly that I had a wardrobe growing significantly in numbers but not really in amount of items that I liked after just a few times of wear and so when I did a complete revamp of my wardrobe first of all by decluttering I was letting a lot of pieces go just from the pure fact that I just didn't like them and I didn't feel like wearing any of it but the thing is even the things from fast fashion that I then did like and that I decided to keep in my wardrobe, they quickly followed hereafter because they just couldn't last through that much wear. And this is all a retrospective because it's a little bit harsh or embarrassing to admit this now, but I ended up with a closet that felt, if not was, emptier than I ever had before at the end of this process. And I believe that that was for a few reasons. First of all, when we buy fast fashion, I think a lot of the time we can tend to be quite detached from the entire process. We go into the store fully guided by impulse and sort of let our crow brain take over, looking for whatever shiny trinket catches our eye so we can go buy it and bring home that newness to our wardrobe rather than going into the store with a mission or something specific to look for in mind. And then even when we do, we tend to not end up with the best item, but also we sometimes leave with more than we came for. When clothes are this accessible, it's just too easy to shop mindlessly and we end up with a wardrobe that follows little to no theme and an overall wardrobe that just makes less sense. The other reason is quite simply that fast fashion tends to be of such poor quality that it will start deteriorating quite quickly and so even when you find a fast fashion piece that you truly do appreciate and like and would like to wear a lot often because of that you won't really be able to even get that much wear out of it and keep it in your closet long term i'm not saying necessarily that you can't or shouldn't add fast fashion to your wardrobe ever again but putting fast fashion places way down your list of places to shop means you're more likely to end off this year with a bigger and stronger wardrobe simply by not having added as much from here. And then when you want to, you can add some fun pieces or something specific that you really like in a fast fashion store to your wardrobe knowing that it's less likely to last you forever. The next thing you could consider focusing on this year on while adding things to your wardrobe is sort of how to know when to save or splurge on things and it's something that I really take into consideration for my own wardrobe and it's basically where you're gonna benefit from the cost per wear. I consider cost per wear the true cost of an item the more you wear something the lower the cost will get things that are generally more durable and worn a lot more are where i personally splurge for my wardrobe and i think that that is something you could focus on as well bags shoes and coats and then whatever it is personally for you. So for me, scarves or for example, jeans. These are all things where the cost per wear is likely to decrease quite quickly just because of how much you tend to wear those items. But that is also sort of contingent of you only having few items in that category. And so in terms of cost per wear, adding things very mindfully and slowly um, in these categories helps because of course the fewer options you have, the more you will actually actually uh, reach for that item and this is sort of where personal preference come in because for me it is way more preferable to me to have 
few but very great things and then wear them a lot more than it is for me to have many options but then um, having to compromise on the styles that I wanted to buy. And this is why, for example, right now, at this point in time, I only have two winter coats, even though I live in a uh, temperate, cold climate, and I only have two bags that um, fit my computer, which is usually what I will wear on a day-to-day -day basis. So other than the gray coat, I only have one more thing right now competing with it, for wear in its category and it's another coat from the same brand it's quite similar but i do just really like these styles and because i both really love them and consider them very good quality i don't mind having this little to alternate between or pick pick from in within my outfits and uh, it definitely doesn't mean i don't want to add something more but Adding things very slowly means that the things within my wardrobe in that category will continue to decrease rapidly in their cost per wear, so yes. And then sort of like the last thing I want to talk about that we can focus on for a better style this year, you can look very good with very little. I sort of want to talk about that because now we talked about adding better quality things and then I also listed something I have that is quite high up there uh, price-wise. When you are shopping more on a budget, obviously this becomes more of a challenge. Focusing on the few outfit formulas you have that really works for you as you're adding things slower to do yourself a favor long term can be a really good way of doing that. Adding new things are really really nice but again you can really look very chic with very little. Actually a few years back after sort of realizing I had this shopping addiction I was at a place within my own budget where I really just couldn't afford anything new and there was a lot of things within my wardrobe I really didn't like. I had started my decluttering process, but I had actually an entire season, this was in winter, where I wore this basically the same outfit over and over again. And it was a black coat, black turtleneck, blue jeans, and my either black boots or a pair of white sneakers. And of course I had a little bit more clothes than that, but this was my uniform for this season like that's basically or all i wore almost every single day and i didn't even have a bag at the time so i would just wear my tote bag everywhere and looking back like i really thought at the time i looked chic like i really realized like i have added so many things that i don't like or that i quickly didn't appreciate and here i am feeling fantastic in this black outfit. It's just my go-to outfit. It's a uniform for me and I know I looked great in it and it also gave me some time to really think harder about and like reconsider what I wanted for my wardrobe going forward. And so I'm not saying you have to wear the same thing every day but if you already have a few things within your wardrobe that you know you look good in and you feel comfortable in, like taking the time to appreciate that fact as you are adding things more slowly that you will then also really appreciate can really be enough for a while or at least it, it was for me. It was a little bit hard but it really brought me places. So that was actually my tips on what you can focus on this year for a better style. If you enjoyed this video, please don't hesitate giving it a like so that I know it really does help out my small channel. And if you have a first time not already subscribed, then consider doing that because I make videos like this one all the time and I would love to keep you around. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.